My name is Ransony, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, where we are going to be playing Uzi Pilo. No? Hang on. Marine. There we go. We finished the quest last time, so we may as well return. Ooh. Have a look at that. Serious amount of money, if I do say so myself. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. I quite like it. Alright, let's go into the game with a uh, pilot pistol, pilot pistol, marine pistol, marine sidearm rather. In fact, if I actually want to even call it by its right name. What I really want is some of the new bullet effects. Not helix bullets, not necessarily, but not necessarily not helix bullets either. It's fine that I got hit there because I got hit against armor, so it's not going to prevent this guy from dropping money for me. As far as I'm going to look at that, I'm going to look at that as me trading one piece of armor for one key. Which is entirely fine. Not an entirely fine way to look at it, but that's an entirely fine thing to do. If that were actually what we did. So, that is a shrine. A shrine for a key on the first floor. See, that's a difficult call to make because if it's uh, if it's something like a sacrifice, what's it called? Uh, I forgot the name of it. Ups your damage by twenty five percent, but takes away a maximum HP and gives you two levels of curse. Whatever that shrine's called, if it's that shrine, I really want it. If it's Sir Junkin Shrine, I don't really want it. If it's Live at Peace, I don't really want it. If it's Dodecahedron, it might be okay, but I probably still am not incredibly enthused by the idea of it. You can see a trend here. There's one that I really want, and then a lot of them that I'm ambivalent towards. Have we had a... Gun nut in pretty much every room so far. This is insane. And they're all dropping a reasonable amount of money. So far, none of them have dropped, you know, pretty much fuck all. All of them have dropped a serious bounty. The other enemies in the game aren't really dropping that much, to be fair. But... It's already made up for. And then some, jeez. Probably gonna end up with uh, 75 or something like that by the end of the floor. It's a reasonable amount. And we've already got two free keys. I'm quite pleased, I'll be entirely honest with you. There we go. It's exactly what I was looking to have happen. Uh, I can't test that, but that's probably the secret room, but it might be the oubliette entrance, so... I don't know. Okay, it's good that the shop is abysmal. I would feel bad for the game if it had given me all of this money, all of these keys, and a good shop as well. That's just not fair on the game at that point. It'd be hilarious if we had a... Map man on this floor is... Wow, another key. It'd be hilarious if we had a map man on this floor. And as a result of having a map man, we had to go and open the shrine room. Because obviously, we want the free item. The only way to get the free item from map man is to have visited all of the rooms. And as a result, we ended up opening the shrine room, which turned out to be a really good shrine. That series of events would almost destroy my stomach with laughter. I've never seen this room before. For what it's worth so far, I like it. It seems like it was... What? Alright. The money is stupid. Stupid amount of money. For what it's worth... That room seemed like it was setting up for a really powerful enemy in the middle that you'd use a lot of things to destroy. Oh, hello, secret room. 
I am definitely forcing the weapon from the boss right now. Because the basic marine pistol is better than a lot... I want to say damn near majority of brown chest weapons. Especially for the first floor boss kill. And I'm more familiar with this weapon, which is not to be understated. Familiarity actually makes a weapon a lot better as well. Beautiful. Alright, Bullet King. Stay over to the side. I'm actually completely fine with this series of attacks so far. He's done a few circle attacks in mm, reasonable positions. Not great, not horrible. If he does a circle... Yeah, that has to be blanked. I was exactly in the middle of saying if he does a circle attack right now, I'm going to have to blank it. So this is going to force a weapon from the boss. I'll use the weapon to check which is the secret room and which is the oubliette entrance. I'll blank my way into the secret room and we'll have a great time. Savvy? And a gold casing. The money is unreal. Can you dig it? Yes, we can. All right. We have so many keys that I'm actually in the consideration of, you know what, let's just fucking visit the shrine. Maybe it's worth my while. Probably not, but maybe. All right, that means this is the secret room. Because that was my other suspected secret room and it's the Udliette entrance. That means this is a secret room. Let's go. Yeah. That's so many keys. I just have to open that shrine. I've got to see. Or we could force our way down to the Oubliette. Yeah. Yeah, I I actually wasn't intending to go to the Oubliette when I opened the passage to the Oubliette. I was just thinking, I'll open this so that I know which is my secret room. Saves me wasting one round of ammunition. Well, three, because Colt is burst shot. We'll actually be using the Colt for as much of this floor as we can. Simply because... A lot of the time, our basic pistol is not going to be fast enough to kill enemies before we end up taking damage. And if I want to keep the insane train of money going, I'm best served by making sure I don't take uh, red heart damage. Especially against enemies that might drop money. Okay, let's get out of here. You too. Good work, friend. If you're wondering what friend I'm talking to, it's the cult. Nice. Hey, refill as well. That's another reason to use your non-default weapon, so that you actually have something to refill. You stay away from me. That's not really a reason to use the non-default weapon as it is a reason that using the non-default weapon isn't horrible. Okay, I actually need something with better accuracy right now, so... We'll change over to the Marine Sidearm. Beautiful. We actually managed to get that enemy before it did any spawning, which is really important for me. Because if there was a blossom of bullets over that side, I definitely ended up taking damage in any situation there. Or I definitely would have ended up taking damage. Oh. Hey, gum.
All right, friend. I I guess I'm gonna come back to that. It's just free mala. Nope. Oh. Hold off to the side. Hold off to the side. And beautiful. That set itself up to just cause off like a daisy chain of kills. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Damn it, I was trying to knock him back into the pit. Just missed, it seems. And roll through one, of course. Look, one of them had to be rolled through. That was non-optional. Damn it. Thank you for healing me back up, but I missed out on like two or three credits there. Yeah, I need to force the weapon from boss again. Uh, here is going to be the safest I can really be. I can't believe that almost stopped directly on top of me. That would have been lame as hell. Not like I need the flawless here or anything like that, but it still would have been annoying. Up, oh, get up to the top side. That'll do. Good roll. Come on, Blobby Lord. Up you come. Excellent. It's one of the few weapons that I can actually afford to try and get in pot shots between those rolls. Wow, he's just methodically making his way through the map. Doing the exact same pattern every time. I do not like it, but it is helpful and it's working. So I don't know why I don't like it. Okay. Yo. No, 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 no. Whee. Good. Get him, get him, get him. I don't need to blank if I'm about to take damage here. Because you still get money after the boss, even if you get hit. I've never heard anything along the lines of getting hit by the boss adjusts the amount of money that you get. I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know if that is a mechanic that exists in the game. I have no evidence that it is a mechanic that exists in the game, I guess, is the way that I should be phrasing that. So I won't be playing around it. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a really good boss killing weapon. I'm really quite pleased. Uh, it usually has a relatively tight spread, so I don't know if I'm going to... Oh! Have to. Hey! Now that is going to make this run very interesting. I am so glad I came down to the oubliette. This is the Seven Leaf Clover. Every chest that appears in our game from now on is going to have to be red or black quality. Good thing I came down to this floor, eh? Whee! I'm gonna use this for a bit because I do not want to lose my armor and this room is annoying as shit. Thank you. As you can see, this isn't even a really good room clearing weapon. It's not even taking out not basic bullet kin. It would take out a basic bullet kin, but it's not taking out the slightly imperfect bullet kin. Okay, I'm actually really quite pleased right now to see that we've got the shot. So, what does Casey rank as? Casey ranks as brown. Good. That's what Casey deserves the rank of. Casey is so bad.
I stepped off to the side to make sure that the shotgun kin didn't destroy the barrel before it got close enough to take a lot of damage to it. It's just miniature plays like that that you get over time playing the game. Those are the kinds of things that just come to you. I've not seen the secret room yet, have I? No, I've not. That's frustrating. I guess I'm going to go through the entire oubliette again, looking for it. Now, all chests on the floor that are already in rooms, like if there's a chest in the secret room, it's already been spawned by the game. So it's not going to be red or black. Well, I mean, it's not guaranteed to be red or black is what I should say. As you can see, this blue one is going to remain blue. It's not going to become red or black just because I've got the seven leaf clover. That said, this is pretty damn early to get a seven leaf clover. I would not be entirely surprised if I ended up with a clone. I mean, the amount of black chests and red chests that we're going to get. Clone, gun soul. Um, I'm trying to think of the best of the best, and I'm only coming up with reasonable. I actually don't think I should open that. That's going to be a gun. Uh, blue tier. Anvil and Shades Revolver and the Bait Launcher. That's all I really want for guns. Instead, I think I should save my keys because I want to make sure that if there is a chest, I can open it. Because every chest from now on is going to have insane value. Yeah, I didn't think that was a secret. Every chest from now on is going to have insane value. So it's worth making absolutely certain that I'm going to have enough keys to open them. Um. Oh, of course, I haven't checked my eggs. This is most likely where the secret room actually is, by the way. Oh, no. It's, I, it's not. All right, never mind. We actually have to go back to the hunt. Wow, I was wrong. I mean, I'm not surprised by the fact that I'm wrong. I'm... Wow. I'm wrong so often, but uh, I'm surprised in this specific instance. It can be side to side of this. I've seen it there before. No. Yeah, no, I didn't think it was there. It's definitely up there. Uh, definitely not up there, rather. And then we started paying mind to it from around here, right? So I think the only room I've not checked is this one recently. No, wait, I did check this recently. Okay, yeah. What? I... I think I have checked every room. I've not found it. I went around the outside, I came back to here, I ended up finding it wasn't there. I guess just before the exit room? I'm not seeing any wall discolorations at all. There's either not a secret room, or, and this one's much more likely, I'm just real dumb. But that dumbness is going to preclude me from finding the secret room, so I may as well just leave. Right? Uh, blank. Blank you, and blank the next largest room. I tried. Uh, wait a second. We want as many chests as possible. I'm going to the Abbey of the True Gun. We need to get as many chests in this run as possible, and where are we going to find chests? If not, in the extra floors. We're very likely to get boss killing weapons, because of course we're going to get a red and a black, or a black and a black, or a black, red and red, next floor. I can't wait. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, refreshing. Mm 
I'm going to be using this weapon until I get to the shrine to try and guarantee that I protect my HP. Sorry, not protect my HP. Protect the crest. Final one. Hex. Yay! I immediately fired like a bunch of bullets because I needed to get the hex as soon as possible, but. Worked out in the first barrage. Okay, be adjacent. No. Damn. Wait, that's our secret room. No, the discoloration isn't strong enough. I was hoping that was going to be the room that was adjacent to the shrine. The shrine is almost always adjacent to a special room. It's worth knowing. So typically you're looking for closed loops. Or... Hey, what up? Yep, yeah, or the end of a path. Like here. Excellent. Excellent. That's guaranteed my ability to go down. Uh, I do want to force as many weapons before I do that as possible. So only if something has a fuse on it am I really going to open it early. Good thing that I got this when I did. Are you kidding me? I found the shrine just in time to prevent that from being a horrible calamity. Full and no. Nope, don't want any shenanigans. You two. You three. I'm actually not refilling the cult, because the cult. Cult's just nothing compared to this weapon. Oh, of course. Stay away. That's not fair. He was doggy guarding that the entire time. I couldn't get in. Anvilin. Hey, that actually would have destroyed him. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much, video game. Now we'll go back and get the red. Especially if it's something like armor synthesizer or heart synthesizer, both of which are red tier if I recall correctly. I'm ecstatic. Things looking at my survivability primarily I'm really happy about right now. Space friends, he's good. Don't let that me uh, be me downplaying it. It's just I'm thinking of all of the things in the red and the uh, black tiers. And I'm trying to really accurately place it among them. If in a normal run I opened a chest and got Space Friend, I'd be like, Hey, Space Friend! Yay! But... The goalposts kind of move now that we have Seven Leaf Clover. All these chickens are fucking having a rave, freaking the hell out. I love it. Needed to kill the green book before he fired anything off. I was definitely going to take damage to it. Shotgun full of head is quite good. 
I did not think that room, uh, that wall was tinted, but apparently it was. Okay. I actually want the immunity. And definitely the key. Because that doesn't bring me below 100, I'm okay with it both. There's no reason to go pick up the blank that, I mean, it's not even going to help me. Alright, let's leave. We're going to have to use Bundle of Wands for the room clear. I'm very likely to end up in a position where I have to use my ammo drop super early in this run. But I'm okay with it. I'm more than okay with that. We've also got Brother Alvin waiting here for us. As you can see, we can get things from different tiers as a result of item direct generation. So the generated item after fighting a boss, for example, is just an example of direct item generation. That doesn't have to give me red or black tier. It's just the chests that are generated by the game. And I think it's only the chests that are generated at the start of the floor. This is something that I can clarify while I'm using this weapon. Um, I believe it's only the chests that are created at the very start of the floor that have to be red or black tier. Chests created after that, like chests created by special effects or shrines or anything like that, uh, I don't think have to be. But I could easily be wrong. It's happened before, someone told me. Do I, have... Do I have one level of curse? Or is that guy just always cursed? Shotgun full of haters, not cursed. Mm. I can't remember picking up curse. Wait, is... I, I think Seven Leaf Clover might be cursed. But I've had it so rarely that I can't tell you. We will actually hold off on that key because I still need to make certain that my key economy is amazing in all different times. Uh... Now we can go back and get it because we forced the shop to generate a key. Not pleased with what it generated, but... Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're actually going to be spawning the ammunition. I was really hoping this wouldn't be the case, but... It's definitely the correct move as far as I'm concerned. You know what would be a cool effect? Anything that transmogs in... Uh, enemies, when it hits a boss, instead of transmogging, obviously because you can't transmog a boss, uh, it should just do like a burst of damage, like a critical hit. Just so the weapons that have the transmog effect as their primary source of good uh, don't feel horrible against bosses. Specifically, the reasoning for that is because Witch Pistol sucks against bosses. That said... It's also a little greedy for me to say that, because the Bundle of Wands is actually really good against bosses, and no such transmog replacement effect exists yet. So instead, I just want this weapon to be stupidly OP against bosses, I guess. Ah, uh, what up? Yeah, I figured. Uh, kind of just want to open it. I'm not so certain what I want to do there. We'll hold off for a second. Okay. I don't like that the chickens keep blocking all of my shots after I transmog. Damn it, see? Exact same thing just happened. I turned two people into chickens. Fired another shot, 
and the two chickens blocked it. I'm not actually mad about it, obviously, this weapon's still fine, but... Grumble, grumble, grumble. I've got to have something to grumble about in this run. I can't just be bright and happy and optimistic about the run. Are you kidding me? People will ask what I did with the real Rhapsody. What do you have? What's up? Oh, that's Brother Alvin. I should talk to you. I actually want to collect lies, so... Fuck you, Brother Alvin. Betrayal, it can't be true. Lies, next time tell the truth. Now, I know he gives you a free item, but this is the first time in ages that I, first time in ages that I've had the opportunity to come here and have been so strong that I can really afford to destroy that. In terms of filling out my item list, Lies is one of the only ones that, from the base game, that I didn't have filled in. All right. Well, I've got the weapon, which means I may as well go open this one. I was just hoping for a boss weapon because I kind of don't like my luck with just the anvilin. The anvilin should be doing two hit. Oh, what up? Riddle of lead is stupidly good. Oh, you know what I really want ma right now? Magic candy as well. Oh, baby. Oh, I actually can use uh, shotgun full of hate because its poison effect won't affect me. Of course. I forgot about that. That's uh, the hazmat suit. I picked up the hazmat suit, so... I can afford to use different weapons. This is a lot of damage, and also it's moving very quickly. Oh right! Fire can't affect me either. Forgot about that. Hazmat suit, of course. Space Friend has saved me from taking so many hits so far, by the way. This is gonna be the first time ever that I've uh, flawless this guy. Nope. I got caught on the scenery. That's so bullshit. The first time I've ever been hit against this guy in this fight where I was so close to flawlessing uh, was actually a bullshit piece of architecture in the room just clipping me to the side. Rough. Yeah, nothing to do here. All right, let's go. I feel quite good about all of this, to be entirely honest with you. How many black and red items can we get? And if we do end up managing to get our way into a little bit of the uh, the clone action, then surely we go through the entire run again and collect more of them. I mean, are you kidding me? Why would I not do that? So Riddle of Lead is like an everything up, pretty much. Movement speed, damage... Health. Fire rate? I think fire rate. You know what? Let's have a look. Riddle of Lead. Uh, no, never mind. It doesn't say it. He's real good, though. And Magic Candy is very similar. I also want an accuracy up, but there's so few accuracy ups in the black and red tiers. There are accurate weapons, but that's not really what I want. As you might imagine, the accuracy up specifically that I would want would be... Uh, oh god, what's his name again? Muscle Relaxant, which is Brown Tier. So now, Brown Tier, sorry, Green Tier. Um, 
So it's now in my best interest, in fact, to force that I get a weapon before I fight the boss so that the boss might give me a passive, so that it might give me a passive of the green tier, so that it might give me muscle relaxant. Or at the very least, so that the boss might give me an accuracy up. Got him. Yeah, sure. I just want to go through this floor as quickly as possible so that I can get to the red and black chests. It's primarily what this game is for me right now. Just an exciting little mini game in between opening red and black chests. Without taking damage, I can totally do that. Okay, it's probably still my best weapon. It didn't say challenge complete. Oh, what? Weird. Usually that triggers on time. Anyway, Wolf Jr., fine. Completely fine. I've heard that there is an item in the game because I used to make complaints saying, eh, I mean, there should be this kind of item in the game, this kind of item in the game. They weren't really complaints as much as suggestions. Uh, I've heard that... Fuck you. I've heard that there is an item in the game now that increases your companion's damage. It'd be nice to run across that item. What's up with this Batman shell, motherfucker? Dude had a huntsman. Three, two, one. Got him. Wow, I actually took a hit. I'm mad at myself. One whole hit of damage. Beautiful. Um, actually, I think there's another spawn after this, right? No, there isn't. Never mind, I was wrong. Pop, pop. Secret room next to it. The key. Can't collect it yet. I actually don't want to spend my money on Pop Pop. Rhapsody, why don't you want to spend your money on Pop Pop? Your voice is really high, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to spend my money on Pop Pop because... A lot of these weapons don't really benefit too much. Uh, is that true? Am I lying? Am I wrong? Am I wrong right now? Should I spend my money on Pop Pop? I can definitely get, like, two or three, but... Is it worth it for me after that? It's... This is one of those situations where I have to challenge my own thinking, because my, my thinking by base here is, is definitely not worth it. Don't even try. That's good, but is it good enough at this point? I don't have many damage bonuses, so the camera is not my thing. I have some damage bonuses, obviously, but not many. This one's really close to the spawn room, right? So this should just be another chest. Rather than leading towards the actual boss fight. Okay, and here's the other chest I was talking about, R2-D2. Sorry, R2-G2, my bad, uh, is non-copyright infringing R2-G2. I, okay. We'll pop pop four times. Whether or not I come back and pop pop twice more is 
still in debate in my main. Uh, in my main. Yeah, in my main. My main is thinking about that. I'm a lion, by the way, evidently. In my brain, rather. You know, I often end up having to blank within that first series of shots there, so I'm actually fine with this. It's not out of the ordinary for me. Oh, the wolf is still having a chomp. Love it. What the? I hate that. They overlaid one another. Great. Now I'm going to miss out on the HP up. It's amazing, after all of these, I still don't have, like, a dedicated boss-killing weapon. Okay, do I go back for the 50 and the 60? Is that really what I do? Yeah, fuck it. There we go. So, six triggers, four times, 4% 4 by each. Six triggers, 4% by each. Uh, it's... Wow, is that actually only 24? Really? No, it's 4% each time and six triggers. Wow, it is only 24. I... That doesn't sound right to me. I I know mathematically it's fucking solid, right? I, I... It doesn't sound right to me just for the reason that I'm so used to thinking that I have, you know, one in four chance to to shoot a pop-pop round. And usually I don't have 200 left to spend on it. Yeah, one in four of my rounds. Is it is it 4% chance? I don't know. Well, I mean, we just fired four shots and one of them duplicated, so... Infallible proof. Ah, fuck. Shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. I like that I've got all my friends clearing the other side of the room while I focus on something else. Real handy. Ah, I missed it. Well, I didn't miss it. I entirely caught the bullet, don't worry. Alright. Hey! Off to the other side, thank you. And... I guess I'm using my basic weapon right now. Uh, no. Okay, we can use Trident. Yeah, sure. It's fine to use Crescent Crossbow for a while, just especially because I can charge it up, move into a room, and let it do a lot of the shenanigans for me. Beautiful. That only took three bullets. Okay, my rolls were kind of abysmal in that room, but it worked out. Let's go back to the start. The start, I guess, in this circumstance being the start weapon that I was using on this floor. What up? Thank you, friends. What do we have in here? I'm actually quite pleased that not only do we have a bunch of keys, we also don't have anything I want to buy. Uh, sponge doesn't help because I already purchased the hazmat suit and the bottle is... The bottle does save armor. I actually read that about the bottle after I had my croissant with it. So that might actually make it really worth its while. 
I remember back when I was doing experiments with scaring off the resourceful rat, there was some discussion about if you can scare him off, that would make it really good that you can save ammo until the end of the floor. However, that's not the case. This, however, would make that the case, so... Hmm. And not only until the end of the floor, but until the end of the game, if you'd like. Pretty much... In that circumstance, a lot of the time it'll outvalue my basic item. What's my basic item again? Uh, hang on. I've forgotten it. The ammo drop, right. The Marine's ammo drop would be pretty much entirely outvalued. Whew! I can't believe I got that. Hey! Watch where you're going! These little friendly mother flippers trying to kill me. I'm taking too much damage. I'm too confident in myself, that's my problem. Wait, I didn't take a... No, I did take an item. Sorry, an item. Uh... I, I've heard the best way to dodge this is to dodge it in the corner. Someone was telling me they have 95% time... 95% uh, time, sorry. 95% success rate with doing that. And that's a lot better with my, like, 4% success rate of trying to dodge it otherwise. Okay, so the pop-pop on those anvils really destroyed him. Yeah, I have found the shop. It's like it's ashes. Yuck. Right. Go pick this up. What was I using for my room clear? Oh, is this. I really need an accuracy up if I want to continue using the head to rifle. It's starting to get really appalling to try and use at range. Which is forcing me to go up close and personal, which is forcing me to take a lot of damage. Right, fair enough. The damage is my own fault. But a lot of it would be avoidable if I was using a weapon with better range. I know I have the trident, but the trident's damage actually is really fucking bad. So unfortunately, for that reason, the suggestion of use the trident falls very flat on its face. Sure, it has piercing, but it really doesn't make up for the damage that it just doesn't have. Also, can weapons like the... Can laser weapons, like trident, like flash ray, etc, etc, can those weapons actually pop pop? I don't know if I've ever seen one of those weapons pop pop, but that could entirely just be an accident. Heart of Ice shows up in so many chests is not worth remarking upon as being remarkable. Uh, I think I'll take the bottle. Yep. I think I convinced myself of its actual value while I was having a, com excuse me, a conversation with myself about it not being valuable. I'm warning you, don't shoot again. Or you won't need to regret it. I've obviously more HP ups than I need. Definitely more than I deserve. Alright, uh, let's just go blank a large room. Fuck it. I honestly can't be screwed trying to find my secret room. Could not give less of a lemon scented fuck. <laughs> the I have damage up courtesy of Riddle of Lead, and it's still this bad. So 
It's also got a really low cl uh, clip size. Something I hadn't realized until pretty much right now. Yeah, half up, sure. Don't really need to be bottling that, thank you very much. I wonder if you can bottle two consecutive half hearts and have them turn into a heart. Yeah, I'm not seeing any pop pop triggers here as well. Each of these is an individual shot that I'm firing. The fact that this doesn't, you know, have really any synergistic value with something I spent so much money on is, uh, it's not really working in its favor, I'll be honest with you. I... Okay. I don't really have much to say in my defense about that hit that I took. It was fair. I'm just mad about it. Okay. Beautiful. <sighs> Do your worst, man. Yeah, no, shotgun full of fate. I can't believe after all of this, my boss weapons are still my best boss weapon. And Volun. Blue tier. All things concerned, this is a... Wow, I actually got you in a single sh... Oh, that, that would all be the extra damage kicked in by my three. Definitely. Yeah. All things considered, my haul so far from the black and red chests that I've had... Quite shit. Quite poor. Ha! I hate those predictive shots. God. I'm actually worried about this run now. Inconceivably worried. I shouldn't be at all. But I really am. I almost wish that I'd add access to different chests. Okay. Let's see what we've got in the chest on this wall. Get that done. I do need to find the secret room on this floor, so we will keep an eye out. Oh, fat bullets. Fat bullets are now red? I thought fat, uh, fat bullets were... Fat bullets don't even affect this, so I'm actually quite pleased. Well, fat bullets do affect this in a positive fashion. Uh, I thought fat bullets were greens here. Well, those moved up a tier because they're better. Oh, what up, secret room? Okay, so it doesn't affect these ones. Interesting. So it's not even all of the chests that are generated on a floor. It's only 
the two chests that you might consider. Come on. Yeah, it's only the two obvious gimme chests. The treasure room chests, I guess. That makes sense. I think the range of this is being gimped. I, I've never known fat bullets to gimp range, but I wouldn't put it past fat bullets. Seems like the thing that fat bullets might do. Also seems like the thing that I might not notice, because a lot of the weapons that I end up using, often, are already so good that a range decrease isn't even noticeable. Okay, goodbye room. Oh, you know what would make bottles so much better? I don't even know if this is a mechanic that it can do. But if you use bottle on something in a store, you can steal it. Not obviously items, but only HP and ammo. Because that makes it like dr something drastically horrible has occurred. I might save the run by doing this. I like things like that in games that have elements of RNG that could possibly have a negative skewing effect on your run. What I'm trying to say is in games that have RNG that can fuck you quite hard, uh, it's really nice to have comeback mechanisms like that. And I feel like this has the design space to be one. I mean, you'd still incur a curse, obviously. So oftentimes you wouldn't want to steal, you wouldn't want to incur a curse for something so small as HP or ammo. Ammo, sorry. But sometimes, just sometimes, you definitely will. I think I actually purchased the fish. Ooh, this is new. Yeah, it's off top guy. Interesting. I think that's new. Whoa, wait a second. Uh, Leech your trigger finger though. Yeah, oh, blast cover. Damn it. Alright. Let's get out of here. For a run that had so much going for it, it doesn't seem stupidly overpowered. I mean, it's pretty good, but it could be a lot better. Especially considering the boss killing department, I don't even know what I'm going to do for a boss. I think I'll give myself the ability to decide on that later, and I'll bottle any armor, armor ammo I see. Alright, I took a hit of damage in that room. I obviously cannot afford to do that in every room. So... It's made a little more difficult by the weapon I'm using, obviously. Because the entire map is flooded with bullets. It's really difficult to see which are mine and which aren't. What? Oh. A chest spawned and the chest was a mimic. Oh shit, that's an auto-aiming item. That's actually really helpful. Thank you. For me, effectively, that's going to be the accuracy up I was asking for. Yep. As I said I would...
Definitely need to take the HP now. None of you needed to be here. This is all your fault. Taking all this damage. They easily could have just uh, deloped. Put their gun up to the sky and... I would have left him alone. Remember the five bullet kin that I took mercy on uh, while we were unlocking the... Bullet secret character? Yep. I could have done that again, but no. Good lord. Uh, you know what? This has been such an efficient room clear that I'm actually just going to continue with it. Especially because of Pop Pop. This has been stupidly effective. May as well continue on the same line. I've just got to find somewhere safe and then take pot shots outside. The first direct hit rarely kills, but it does start working the entire room down. That's enough for me. And thanks to Crutch, it looks like a lot of these shots are finding their way to someone when I might not have otherwise expected them to. All of my friendly little allies are also kicking in extra damage to take down the people that have been merely harmed. It's all good. It's all really quite good. Wait, wait a second. That'll do two. I pretty much just wanted to wait for the Blobulon to expand so that I didn't really have to waste another shot. Which was immediately followed by me wasting another shot, so... Yeah, whatever. Whoa, okay. That's dangerous. Giving those red uh, gun mancers, gun singers, but I can't remember their name for the life of me. Uh, but giving them my bullet. Uh, 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 not a good idea. Let's go back for the half red. See, this is the efficiency of this weapon that's really appealing. I refilled it once on this entire floor and it cleared most of last floor and all of this floor. Hey, I actually went in the right direction as well. Nice. So the majority of the time I picked the right direction. Because I picked the right direction on the first three prong and then the second three prong as well. It's quite rare. Alright, we're going with the Patriot to start off with. Because with Lichy Trigger Finger, we're definitely going to be hitting boss armor. And we were. There we go. Now we can actually go back to shooting reasonably. You can see where it should have been doing stupid damage there. It was like, yeah, doing okay damage. So boss armor does still exist. Otherwise, that enemy would have been so deceased so much earlier. I'm very likely to just refill the ammunition into the Patriot. Damn it. Let's 
Stop having so many attacks that I can't evade without rolling. Obviously because rolling is breaking the, uh, the flow. It just immediately caches it into the weapon that you're using. That's good. That's a better way of it triggering than I thought was going to happen, which is it would drop onto the floor and then I'd have to pick it back up. So I ended up taking what? One tick of damage against the second form? Yeah, fair enough. It's oftentimes the second form where I take the most damage, which is, I feel, quite telling on the attacks of the uh, of the second form. The third form has some shitty attacks, but the second form has some downright unfair attacks, and there's a complete difference. Although, I don't need to go over that again. I talk about it every time I take any damage on the second phase. Instead, I can say something along the lines of, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves anywhere near as much as I have. That is, I think, my first seven leap clover run on camera. I think the only other Seven Leaf Clover that I've ever picked up uh, in the course of 318 hours now uh, was near the end of a run, so I didn't actually get to force many chests as a result. My name is Minerapsity. Name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.